my mind my heart pulled in multiple different ways, but blown. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shanice, and welcome back to Simply Nikla. Today, I have another book review for you guys to know about and to learn about and to get, okay? So, let's go ahead and get started with this video before I continue talking. Go down below and subscribe to my YouTube channel, please, and also give me a like for this video, because you're going to like this one. So, let's go ahead and get started with this video. <laughs> Today's book review is off a series that I have been doing on my channel, a series of books on my channel. It's the Hot Jock series. So if you are just not clicking on this series, or just clicking on this video that I'm talking about this series, I have read every single book so far in the Hot Jock series, which playing for keeps with Justin and Elise, all the way with Owen and Becca, trying to score with Teddy King and Sarah, and then crossing the line with Asher and Bailey, and then now down and dirty with Landon and Aubrey which I am so excited so like I said this book is called down and dirty and its main focus is on Landon and Aubrey so let's go ahead and get deep dive into what the book is about so we have Landon who is a rookie of the hockey team but he has gained some friends of all of the other ho um, hockey team players that are in the other books um, like I said Justin Owen Asher and Teddy um, he has gained uh, a um a true relationship, a friendship relationship with them all. And then we have Aubrey works in an organization that helps uh, I guess helps families who doesn't have enough money to go to hockey games or to um, allow their kids to play hockey or do stuff like that to help families out more and so this organization is really really good sometimes she does like charity events for the um, hockey team and stuff like that so she does that so before now Landon and Aubrey are have been friends and they're in this group of friends so they all know each other anyway but uh, to celebrate a celebration that uh, um, they were all attending they went to Vegas and to celebrate uh, the celebration of Owen and Becca let's just say that so when um, they were there they went out partying and you know what happens in Vegas days in Vegas you know that but um, what happened with Landon and Aubrey in Vegas it has left them and came home with them so this part is in the about me section of the book so it's not really a spoiler alert so yeah so Landon and Aubrey got married in Vegas and yeah that's that's so different from the rest of the books um, the rest of the books the characters they went on dates and did all that before they got married that's how this book is a little different from the rest of them which is good so this whole book is them learning each other and how they become more closer to each other. Even though they are married, legally married on document paper, they're, this is true, they are married. Um, they haven't went out on one date the first. They don't know each other that well. This whole book shows that whole big process of uh, not knowing each other to becoming to becoming as one with each other. Before now, before they even got married, Landon already like really liked her in the first place, and uh, she was oblivious to him even liking her, and um, so it was just a shock that that this all happened to her, and it happened in general for them. She really battled with the idea of being married and not because she was a very independent woman. She doesn't want to depend on a man and depend on just just have that dependent like that. So she's very independent and stubborn and um, or just like strong minded. And Landon's, you know, even though it happened, he wanted really wanted to give it a try. Even though, yeah, he does like her really a lot. But he since they are were married, he wanted to really give this marriage a shot before they just did an annulment or just they got a divorce or whatever so he really wanted to get this shot and begged Aubrey to just try to really try and then finally she just gave in and started to really try and that is the whole like gist of the story and it's such a beautiful story and I really really like this story and even though this is 
part of the Hot Jack series and this is the fifth book in the Hot Jack series. All the books are totally different and have a different vibe and it's really awesome to have that because you connect to with each book in a different way and I really really like this and I love the ending of this book. In the end you are going to just just smile and just just because of you uh, what you're reading and just feel awesome for these two characters the, the book is in Landon's mind and point of view and you have it in also in Aubrey's point of view with each chapter and each chapter you get pulled and you see Landon's point of view and you like yeah like you you team Landon and then you go to Aubrey and then you like okay yeah I understand what Aubrey is talking about and so you just pulled in multiple different ways and emotionally and you just want these two to like wake up like I want you to see the good things about Landon that I know that I'm reading but you don't know and it's like really cool to see the development till the beginning to the end of their story. The other little side main focus in this book, really exciting to see how much Owen has grown throughout the books. And you can see he's like more of a mentor to Landon now, in which before he might be a mentor in a different type of category, but he's a mentor in relationship and to marriage and that kind of thing. And so it's really cool to see Owen really have grown from there. Like even though all these are standalone books, you can read this down and dirty book right now and without reading the rest of the Hot Jock series. So that's that's the good part about this series. You can read this one right now today if you've never read a Hot Jock series book yet. But when you read a Justin and Elise story from Playing for Keeps first and then going from Owen to Becca's story with All the Way, then Teddy and Sarah's story with um, Trying to Score, and then going to Asher and Bailey's story with Crossing the Line, you get the progression in the characters and their story and you get so invested more deeper into the, these books and these stories if you read it the first book the first book and then going on to this one down and dirty but you can read these all all whenever you want to in different orders down and dirty um has about 21 chapters in an epilogue so then I'll call it 22 chapters like the rest all the rest of the books that Kendall Har Ryan has wrote like uh, oh yeah sorry I forgot like I forgot to say the author so like down and dirty with the hot Jack series is by Kendall Ryan so yeah it's by Kendall Ryan but the like the rest of the books in the Hot Jocks series you Kendall Ryan allows you to have a playlist a playlist of songs that um, allows you to give the the vibe of the story and there's some awesome songs on this one and also I feel like the song the talk by um, Khalid should it be a perfect song for this whole story and it's just like you listen to that song you get this book okay and it's you get the vibe of this book so so on point but all the rest of the songs are just as great as well and I just really like that aspect of that she allows us to have just that like she didn't have to put that in there and it's just like a cool like um, add-on to this book and to the story and then uh, also something I also really like how each chapter like, have their own little cool names of the chapters and it's just so awesome I just like that little itty bitty cool thing in there I will 100% recommend you guys to read this book and to get this book and support Kendall Ryan, support this Hot Jock series. And if this is the first book of the Hot Jock series that you have ever read, like you in for a treat, this is so, so good. Once you have read Down and Dirty, you're going to want to read the rest of the stories and learn each of the rest of the stories because you know, you're going to be missing a lot. If you don't read the rest of them, then you're going to be connected with all of them. So I totally, totally recommend you guys if you haven't already to read this book down and dirty it's a AA plus for me this whole hot dog series as a whole and this book down and dirty it's just so so good your heart just pulls in different ways like I wish I had friends just as well as these groups of friends I know friends are hard to come by but I just wish I had a group of friends to rely on like that but also I wish I had someone to rely on like any you know, of the guys like Justin Owen Asher, Teddy, and Landon. I love the story, and you can connect with this story so, so uh, well. I mean, like, there's no guarantees you're gonna go get married in Vegas and then hope for the best kind of thing, but um, you can totally 
connect emotionally with this story and can see this story play out in real life if, if it was like a real situation and I just I love this story so much I just love Hot Jock series so much I love Kendall Ryan's books so much that I'm just addicted to them and I just want you to get addicted as well okay I just want you to get addicted to them because they are all good they deserve a read they deserve to be a movie as well like just think of a hot jock series as a movie y'all if you all have read the rest of the books like this would be like an awesome series of books like or a movie series on passion flicks yes i would totally totally love that one day if that could even be a possible a possibility so down and dirty is so good and i totally recommend you guys to read it to get it if you haven't already if you haven't pre-ordered it already get it please 100 percent it comes out today i hope i didn't leave anything out um and i hope that you do get this book very 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 soon if you're not going to get it today get it very soon because you are going to be missing out on something special something good this whole series is special series of just just uh, your heart is going to be blown in just multiple different ways your mind is going to be blown in multiple different ways and it's it's I just love it so much so thank you so much for watching this video and to learn my opinion about this book I want you to get this book and read it um, this is addicting story this is an addicting series so this is what this book did for me and I really hope that it will for you and that it will inspire you to get the rest of the books in this series um, yeah like I'm I'm, I'm, I'm all for the Hot Jock series and I'm all for all these characters and especially now Landon and Ari. They are just so sweet together and I I am excited that, that they are together. Even though they are fictional characters, I'm glad they're together. They will be together forever. So thank you so much for watching. This is actually the end and I will catch you back next week with something else and something great. And I hope that you will pick this book up leave a like if you will and leave a like if you like this video and also subscribe because I do a lot of other videos on this channel but I also do a lot of book reviews because I read a lot and I read a lot of books that are great and I really want you to know about them and to get them and maybe you like them too so thank you so much for watching and I catch you back next week with something something cool